so I've got I'm on my old camera, my old phone camera, one of them now. I took down the uh, <coughs> new camera <coughs> and uh, didn't really show the thing because I couldn't. Here's uh, what she looks like, <coughs> and uh, I took it down so that I can, uh, you know, do do some setup. Um, and uh, <clears throat> got it on this little tripod. It's it's oh it's oh it's sturdy because it's made out of metal, but the only those legs will just go everywhere on you. <clears throat> but uh, just so happens that it will set the two two of the legs will kind of uh, hook up on the top of my monitor, and then there happens to be a box behind it. Um, if you were watching the previous video, you'd see what I'm talking. Already have seen what I'm talking about as far as where I had it. Uh, and the laptop's up there, the one that I'm using for a server, and to monitor my stream. <clears throat> and um, so anyway, I can set it up there and aim it at me. It's a little high, but it works. Let me check my audio. Yeah, on my stream, I forgot to do that. <clears throat> okay, so I've got good stream. <clears throat> well, it's red, but it's working. Um, I've been here, and I haven't tried to make a stream since before the whole uh, virus thing happened. And I've heard that, you know, so many people are on the Internet now that well, I've heard it. I've seen it on some, a video. I watched a video that someone made, and they were talking about <clears throat> trouble with their Internet, you know, and trying to upload videos mostly. He wasn't even talking about trying to. There it is, a screen now. Trying wasn't even talking about trying to do live uh, streams. <clears throat> but... Uh, Live streams, well, at least I'm not trying to do any 4K or anything like that. I'm doing 1080p, but uh, it doesn't take but about two, two and a half kilo, kilobytes, kilobits, I can't even remember now, megabits, sorry. Yeah, two, two and a half megabits. Uh, <clears throat> OBS shows you, and like OBS is showing me that my, uh, I don't know if this is what's being streamed, I guess it is, yeah. Uh, kilobits, it's 4,091 right now. It shows you in real time what you're getting. <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> and it does, uh, you know, fluctuate according to the traffic. It tries to keep your stream working by uh, increasing, decreasing. You know, increasing to as good a quality as you can, but decreasing when necessary. Uh, so, um, anyway, um I want to get back to where I was when I left off. <clears throat> I was trying to get the, uh, trying to scan the QR code to make sure I'm getting the right app. I mean, the name is there, but you know, there's a lot of apps with similar names. There, I did a search, uh, it, and uh, there was only one app in that first page of search results that uh, had that name, but it's not compatible with my phones. And I thought, well, before I go trying to, you know, manually install it. Uh, onto my mom. Uh, if it won't work on my phones, then I can put it on my mom's 10-inch tablet that I bought for her. Uh, in order to actually do it remotely through Google Play, like I usually do, I'd have to. I do have a computer with her account on it. I can boot up. But I didn't really want to do that. I can. I won't be able to show you what I'm doing but with it. But well, I could. Uh, there's a way I can do it, but it'd be a lot more time involved and set up. But uh, <clears throat> I have. Oh, first let me get on the desktop I have my uh, Google Play in my account uh, open back up and I had to run off and take a break <clears throat> and to take off and I decided I was I really needed to eat a little something anyway while I was taking my break so uh, I ate something and so let's see now these are apps that are on there they may or may not be on the phones uh, this is all apps that I've ever installed is what it is and then I can do narrow it down between uh, different phones as well I have three uh, of these Alcatel A845L phones but this so this should find me what I'm looking for is a QR code app but I'm just gonna kind of go through here I probably have one <clears throat> I'll make sure I see if there's more that should be more two or three in here Make sure I get the one that uh, figure out which one is presently installed on one one or two of the phones. I used to have it on all three, but uh, I was saying earlier, I, the the uh, onboard uh, 
flash memory is keeps filling up even though I keep cleaning and cleaning the uh, with uh, I use all in one toolbox for cleaning them up <clears throat> uh, anytime they start getting full but and I and I have SD cards in them all and I install all the apps onto the SD cards but still there's extra thing you know extra data files that uh, I guess the way the, this the way this Android I think I've got Android 4.2 or something on here uh, you know th these phones are old enough that the so, you know the manufacturer doesn't well, they weren't up they never updated them one time since I bought them that's how old they were when I bought them they were new old stock basically you know but they're quad cores they only have a gig of RAM though and I think about 16 gigabyte of onboard or something like that maybe even eight I don't know it's <clears throat> it fills up quick my SD cards I have 64 gigabytes on two of them and 32 on another one the one that I was trying to use, it's got a 64 on it. So, um, I'm just going to kind of look through here. That way I can kind of show the apps as I look. And um, this this one here is the one I'm using right now uh, as to stream the camera over my Wi-Fi so that I can do my live stream. Stream over my local Wi-Fi and then stream it from my computer out to YouTube. <coughs> Some of these I don't uh, don't have on any phones. I tried them out and either didn't need them anymore, or didn't like them, or whatever. But uh, that's just how the if you're familiar with the Google Play, most people probably just use it straight from their phone. I do it the opposite. I use it. I get it on the desktop. It's a bit I can read it. You know, I can't read these little four-inch screens anyway without a magnifying glass. And uh, <clears throat> my first bottom I could barely, but not not anymore. My eyes are worse. So. Uh, I can read it with my glass, my with my dollar store glasses <clears throat> on the. Uh, actually, got them on Amazon or Walmart, but uh, I can read them with the magnifying glasses on the computer, but not on the phones hardly at all. And and I don't like the Android uh, interface very well at all. I, I, it gets me aggravated. So uh, I don't like I don't like touch devices. Period. <clears throat> I, I like I like a mouse, keyboard and a mouse. So let's see, super voice. I keep I get sidetracked easily. Think about other things when I see something. Okay. Um, what's the that's a scanner app. I think that's just a scanner. It's going to say something about, well, some of them will do scanning and QR codes. Let's see. Some of them do both, and they don't advertise it, you know, in the title. It is compatible, but I don't even remember this. I must not have liked it, I'm going to say. Nothing about QR on there. So, uh, well, it could be in some other part. Yeah. Click the read more, and then you can actually. No, I don't think so. Documents. Yeah. <clears throat> Makes P PDF creation and editing. It sounds good. Okay. PDF scanner. I think that might be one of the ones I saw when I was looking on that phone. Might be the one I saw. I like that hacker's keyboard. I have that on all my phones. You can uh, you can have all your letters and numbers all in one screen, and so you don't have to keep punching that little tiny button to get back and forth to type letters and numbers. Only thing is, it you make it the default, and then you reboot the, the phone, and it goes back to the Android keyboard being default. So it gets kind of aggravating trying to keep it working for you. Let's see, Vitrium. Yeah, QR Droid. That is probably the one. That I've been using. Let's see if there's another one right in this area. Yeah, um, that one is uh, uh, that looks familiar to me. So, uh, 
Let's see, contain, let's add words compatible with my devices. It's probably the one it says installed, but it'll say that even if you've taken it off, I've noticed. Did it? Um, how did my letters get to capital? I didn't type them in capital. Yeah, at least uh, <clears throat> at least it is. Uh, I was just seeing if this app would have the letters QR in it a lot. <clears throat> That's why I keep searching through there. I want to make sure. I'm pretty sure, but not completely, uh, that it's the app I would gonna my the one I like the best but yeah it's mentioned in there a lot let's see now what I can do though is uh, <clears throat> yeah that's the phone I want to put it on okay so I'm not gonna do it right this minute uh, but I'm pretty sure that's the one I want to put it on yeah on the other see it's already on the other two see that's why it's they're grayed out and you can't do it Okay, so for some, I guess I ran out of space, and, uh, and that was one of the things I decided to uninstall. But see, there's a sh show more, so I'm not done looking at everything yet. So I'm going to keep on going. <clears throat> Make sure there's not that that's not my the, my favorite. I, I can't really remember. Being that it's on the other two phones, I think it is the one I stuck with. Yeah, and I tried, uh, like I tried uh, AirDroid and, so, oh, and, and uh, this was real good, but it won't work. I can't get my phones connected to it anymore. Oh, that's not it. Uh, I started to say something, then I skipped it. I thought, oh, my phone explorer. thing about it is it, uh, what it is is you can control your phones from a desktop computer, but it only works with Windows. So I, ha I have a Windows XP virtual machine in here, and I'd have to boot that up inside of Linux to control my phones and then if I wanted to just con be able to work on them easier or to be able to make a video over it. but it doesn't I can't get it to connect anymore so I finally just took it off the phones uh, AirDroid uh, I think it's because you know if, if you're using the free version it's restricted too much and it's uh, it's so slow you can't use it <laughs> and uh, and plus there's not very many features that are you know make it useful anyway that are until you pay for it all in one toolbox is my favorite cleaner I've ever found. Um, got a lot of ads, but it's a but it's a good cleaner. You don't you know you, it's pretty it's full of pretty uh, yeah it's fully functional without paying for it, but it has a lot of ads. You gotta watch out. It really tries hard to make you click on those ads now. It's really aggravating now that part. It didn't used to be that way. You click uh, no thanks or whatever, and it still takes you to the website of whatever it is half the time. I thought it was just me, but I finally realized that it's not just me. Because I tried it uh, with, uh, I plugged the, I tried it on my, I think it was on my mom's tablet. I tried it and I plugged in the mouse and keyboard. Then you're not missing your click, you know, with your finger, you're doing it with the pointer. <coughs> but anyway, um, QR, QR. Okay. That might be the only one I have in there. Yeah, this is the end of my app. Oh, I use Team Viewer quite a lot, but I got to figuring out that uh, they were monitoring everything I did with it, you know, on my desktop and whatever else I was connected to. And so uh, I decided that uh, they were too snoopy. And, and, uh, and it worked pretty good, but after an hour or two, it would begin to slow down a lot too. Uh, it was the one that worked the best. 
but you have to install, you can install the, uh, I don't know why there's three of them in here. You install the app and then you install the add-on for your particular phone. And <coughs> it did work. But it got to where it would really only work 10 to 30 minutes uh, without getting so slow you couldn't use it anymore. I don't know why that started happening. It doesn't make any sense. The, the phones still have the same version of Android they always had. Not <coughs> And uh, I did see some differences because I used it throughout. I think I might have started when I was using Fedora 23 and kept using it. Well, I've got Fedora 28 on here now, <coughs> which is way behind. <coughs> but I think, I yeah, I was using it with Fedora 28. <coughs> uh, guess I'm going to have to get another cough drop. I don't do well with talking for long periods of time. I guess my my voice is just not. I don't usually. I don't talk at all. I'm just by myself in here on the computer, what, reading or watching videos. And, and when I start talking to my, long for hours to make a video, I get hoarse. I'm getting hoarse now. Okay, so QR now QR Droid. That's it. So it's got to be the app. So I'm going to close this page. So I don't have too many pages. Let's wake this phone up. Let's see, desktop and one. I'll go ahead and do that. So um, I don't know if I want. At some point, I may turn that camera down to my desk. Well, let's wait. Uh, it's not like you know people know what to do with phones pretty well, so it's not like I'm teaching anybody anything. Get it woke up, <coughs> and uh, if I've feel like I need to show the phone screen. It's not going to show it good with that camera. It doesn't have a high enough resolution. Get over here. And um, it makes that a lot smaller, but <clears throat> I don't think it's that. Um, so you can still see it. So I'll click on. It says install. No, it did say install, I guess. Wait. What did it say? Yeah, installed. It says installed. But that doesn't mean it's installed on this phone. It means it's installed on one of my three phones that I have on this uh, on my account. So it, it highlights the one that it, it could be installed to. The other two are grayed out. So I'm going to say install. That is so much simpler to me than fiddling around trying to f read the phone screens. And of I have trouble reading the phone screens. Oh, um, well, let's get, let's not show any of that. If, if it, I don't know what it's going to show when I click on. Okay, all I did is click, and it just did it. Oh. Will be installed. Okay. It should start doing it right pretty soon. Sometimes it takes longer than you would expect. But uh, <clears throat> sometimes it takes five or ten minutes. Let's see if it says it's installing it. Oh, great. I left my thing on. SMS is no longer supported. <clears throat> I don't ever have used that, but I wonder why and what's the deal with that. Oh, yeah, it's installed. Okay. Offline map has expired. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. QR Droid. <clears throat> now, welcome to QR Droid. Yes. Oh, you got to scan across there. Basically, it's kind of like that preview there. I'm looking at basically what was on that preview. Whoops, desktop. Um, what I'm wanting to know is, whoops, oh, it went straight to the scanning. I was trying to use my thumb to, now where's it at? There it is. I have never been good at using my thumb. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get started with being able to, I'm going to put this phone so that it's down on my desk. <coughs>
Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that works out. It's either the, uh, the, if I put it where you can see that corner, that's way too awkward for me to do anything anyway. You're not going to see it completely, but... And I could try using the... If I try to use the endoscope, it really can... I can get it to where you can see the whole phone screen, but you can't really read it. <clears throat> and... Uh, so I'm just going to do it like this because the main thing is for me to be able to see it. I've done things, you know, I've like got it all set up in front of me and it it's not that great anyway. So I was trying to read the instructions. Well, they went away. Somehow I made them go away, but I know how to use it. I've used it for several years. Let's see. Oh, it does it automatically. Yeah, you get it in the right place and it does it automatically. Open URL or don't do nothing. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. <clears throat> oh, guess what? It's a white page with Chinese writing on it. So you can see that. And then the URL at the top. I may have already done this before. It seems, well, I've done. I've probably just done something like this before. Sczft. dot com install. Well, I ain't clicking on something I can't even read. Maybe you click on that writing and it does something. There's no paging around or anything. <clears throat> I can try and uh, I don't want to scan it again. <clears throat> I got a feeling that it, this app is not even current. I mean, why else would it be like that? These Chinese product sites sometimes go away on you long before you've ever bought. You got to watch out on Amazon when you buy. Uh, well, I was looking for cameras. I was looking for security cameras first, and then I was looking for a regular camera, like that, you know. And uh, it'll have the website link in there. And if you don't go to it and find and find out, it may not. It may be down. The website may be gone. And then, so, the, what does that mean? There's no support whatsoever. So, um, I'm gonna raise that camera back up. Really didn't do me much good to do that. Really took some work to get that. I guess that's good enough. <clears throat> and if I want to try to show something, I'll just try to hold it up. There's really no way to get it to where you can see anything that small. Oh, I want to triple check my. Yeah, my stream is going. Make sure the audio is working. Yeah, stream is still good. I know my previous video, I, I kind of looked through the backup video and it's good. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to upload it because I know it it dropped out and it completely stopped and then picked back up at one point. And it might have happened other times and I just didn't catch it. Okay, so what do I want? Desktop. I want to look up. This thing's going to sleep too quick. I must have got back off of the settings. I don't know why it would have. S Z C F T. I'm just going to search. I don't like to go straight to a URL. For some reason, the keyboard came up when I laid the thing down. Well, since these batteries are swollen. They do some crazy things. That probably doesn't have anything to do with them. It is SZCFT.com. Install. It could be that uh, that's what the install page looks like. There is a website coming up. 
Let me look one more time. S Z C F T dot com. Okay. No, I want S Z C F T. There we go. <clears throat> Translate this page. Okay. I think I will do a virus. I have a uh, a virus scanning uh, virus total. I believe it's called. So I'm gonna scan it before I go there. I'm running Linux, and most of you know Windows viruses won't really. Most Windows viruses won't aren't cross-platform. They won't hurt Linux. But uh, there's one that says n dot sgt dot could be something else though oh yeah one engine is detected malicious see if you can, if i mean if you can't even read it and it's in another language don't just go there but it's only one out of all that but that's all it takes one out of 80 it shows up being malicious what do the rest of them say the rest of them say it's clean but i've got to worry if there's even one it shows us any, especially if it says malicious. Sometimes it'll say adware or something like that. Uh, I'm not going there. So, um, yeah, that's um, okay. I was trying to remember. I'm going to, yeah, the ENSZ, that 18650 battery pack is what that says there anyway, so probably might not even be, well, this may not be a real, I don't know what's going on here. I, probably it used to be their website, and then they shut down, and then somebody else uh, took it, either bought the URL or just hacked that URL. Maybe the, maybe the, uh, the URL is paid for, um, and so somebody else hacked it since it, they figured out it was dormant and put malware on it. I've seen that more than once. Uh, I mean, there was a couple of times I really knew for sure. I knew the site, and I was familiar with it, and uh, it got taken over, especially like if I, I love to say bookmarks and favorites, you know, back when it was Windows favorites. Man, if you try to go to some old bookmarks or old favorites, you half of them, a good fourth of them, will be end up being going to malware or, or, or some kind of weird ads or game ads or something. It could be game game downloads that are actually malware. <clears throat> so I'm not even going to click on translate this page since the link. Which one did I do? I did the translate this page, and I said. Uh, <clears throat> Trying to see what the URL it went to. Well, let's see, it's showing the Google. You can't right click on the. Oh, there you go. I think I did the train, or did I do that? Let's do it again because now I can't even remember. There we go. Let's do it again, and this time I know for sure I'm on the uh, one with the Chinese writing. Oh, it says 18650 at the front, though. So that might be the same page. They're both coming up with one malicious thing. And there's more, just to this, more of the same is all I'm getting down here. <clears throat> so I'm not going there. Um, you know, you really don't have to have the, uh, like I found, like with my security cameras that I bought, um, the apps. I actually knew it before I bought it, but I decided it was the best one, had the features I wanted. Um, an IP camera, you know, that you can... <clears throat> anyway, I won't go into all that, but um, their, their software wasn't compatible with my uh, phones, and 
And I, I don't remember what the deal was, but it wouldn't even, I, I didn't put, I don't remember, I, I, I don't know if it wasn't compatible with the tablet, the 10-inch tablet or what, but I ended up finding, and a lot of this stuff that comes with, what I'm trying to say is a lot of this software is no good anyway. It's terrible ratings. It doesn't work well. Uh, and then if you get into malware stuff, that's just ridiculous, you know. So um, I found, I figured out through a bunch of searching that, you know, uh, if you just find one that will work. Well, people would say in the comments, they would say, this is terrible software, but this so-and-so works pretty good. So I ended up downloading a couple of apps for the tablet. That was only one I, all I wanted it on anyway. I, I, you know, my security cam, when I want to look at it, I look at it on my computer, you know, in uh, 10, you know, 1080p. It doesn't stream in 1080p, but it does record uh, in, uh, what does it record in? It's 5 megapixels. It records the full 5 megapixel, you know, stream, uh, I mean, video. But the stream, sending it over the Wi-Fi, you know, Wi-Fi couldn't handle all that, even with gigabit routers. So, uh it, it has two streams, one for viewing over Wi-Fi and one for, well, actually there is two. One for wired, one for Wi-Fi. Wired is a higher resolution. And I don't, it is, I'm using it over Wi-Fi only. I don't have a wire, you know, an Ethernet cable hooked up to it. Uh, but if you, uh, if you wanted to crawl, I've got it up high. If I wanted to crawl up there and get the SD card out, I could, uh, the videos would be in uh, higher, higher resolution. And you can download them. You can go to it, download. The only way I've found that works well to download is the way they, in their interface, download it in your web browser, and it's so painfully slow over the Wi-Fi. So I never really, I hardly ever download them. <clears throat> I wanted to back them all up at first. I was wanting to set up an automatic backup, but it was going to be too much data to try to save anyway. Let's go ahead and see what, if this... Uh, English version shows to be malware. <clears throat> it's almost, yeah, look at there. It's almost a given that the Chinese sites are going to have malware on them anymore. But one that you can't even read, forget it. Yeah, I'm not going to that site. And that is the site that the QR code from this uh, <clears throat> camera goes to I guess I'll show you what camera it is since that's happening oh yeah <clears throat> so while that's open I went ahead and drug that over I didn't want to close that in the QR droid <clears throat> on my Google actually I don't need that open using up too much resources to have too many pages open I want to go to is I go to Amazon <clears throat> get there did I they used to you had to double click to get it to select all and now suddenly one day it's single click and I can't get that right and somehow I got two Z's I think if I just put 4k in there I'll find it there it is. So this is what I bought. Um, Comrie K O M. I bought it on January third this year. And you see, here's the other ones. This one just doesn't have that. Uh, I think that's just a sun uh, light reflector. Oh look, they're not even selling them anymore. Probably because of this problem with the audio. I was. Uh, uh, if I was trying to use the onboard mic, uh, well, I almost sent it back because of that because it's, it's really bad. I said that. I was talking about that in the other video. But if you want to see what it sounds like, listen to uh, watch my previous videos on this. The first two, two or three uh, are on the onboard mic, just recording straight to the camera. But, uh, I mean, sometimes things just become unavailable because they go to a new model or something, but... These other ones that are probably basic, but the same camera, really, except with with but with a mic and a, uh, I forget what you call the darn things, sun shade, sun, 
the, 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 the it just screws on on the front to help uh, block so much extra, too much you know side light from coming into the lens and messing things up. But this one says it's uh, 48 megapixels, and these others <coughs> generally say like 21 to 25 or something like that. Oh, there's a Comrie right there. So maybe they did discontinue this model and went to another one. But, um, boy, they sure have gone up in price. See, I paid, I um, can't remember, I'd have to. I paid 109 and actually it went down a little bit right, right not long after I bought it. I guess I caught it when they were getting getting ready to, you know, they were trying to sell them off and quit making that model. But uh, um, <clears throat> it does exactly what I needed to do for my live streaming, but as far as a camera to carry around, I would go on and spend... You, the, you know, you can spend as uh, the least I found a camera looks like it's really a good enough camera for me uh, is three about 300, 350 bucks for a Canon or a Sony or something, AVC or something. Uh, that does, uh, what do they do? About 20 megapixels, I think. But they're. Uh, <clears throat> Their sensors, well, I don't, I haven't done serious research to see what their sensors are in them. These are 13 megapixels in this one. But, uh, I did find out during my research that just because the camera says it's 20 meg, it's the same thing. Just because it says it's 20 megapixel doesn't mean the sensor in it is 20 megapixel. They, I don't know what the percentage of them are, like, you know, that have and don't have. But uh, basically, the cheapest, if you see one that is really cheap, and it says whatever brand it is, name brand or not, and it says it's a bunch of high megapixels. Uh, find out what the sensor is, and that'll tell you what the the actual hardware is capable of. You can look and uh, well, 13 megapixels. You know, uh, my sensor is capable of 13 megapixels. Now to try to make it 48 megapixels, I don't even know if that's possible with any kind of software. Uh, I think 20. Is what most of them will see. That one says 30. That one says 30. This one says 48. 30. That says 30 frames per second. Uh, 26 megapixel. That's the when I was bought. See, now this one's 109. When I was looking and bought, uh, that was generally what all the rest of them said. And I wasn't, I knew when I bought it that <clears throat> they, uh, they did the, uh, up converting, you know, or the uh, upscaling uh, is how they did that. But I didn't think about them just flat out fact that a lot of some of these companies flat out lie. You know, they're not even actually up. They're not even uh, upscaling to that. You know, it's not even possible. Uh, I've seen articles and videos on all that over the years, but I kind of forgot a lot of the things I had learned. And I spent so much time comparing cameras, I wore myself out, and I finally just settled on one, you know. Or usually they don't say audio. They usually say mic. People, when they write about them, I'm just, uh, trying to find one of those. You know, that's just... Uh, Yeah, the night vision was clear, audio not very good. I tried adding three different additional microphones, but the audio camera did not improve. In fact, it was worse. Don't use the video camera anymore. Yeah, that's probably one of the reviews I already saw. Um, and I just thought, well, I don't know if I saw that one or not, but I saw one where I just thought, well, I'll just use it. If I have to, I'll use an external mic for that price, you know. And I've already tried it on an external mic. Uh, my I have two sets of lapel mics. One's a dual lapel. That's the one I use all the time now with my one of my phones to have wireless mic. And the other one, I said, well, let's see if the old original one it uh, <clears throat> still works. But well, sometimes it was cutting out. Like maybe the wire. I thought maybe the wire was broken, but I could never catch it. I would test it, you know, like listen to it live and twist on the cable, and it didn't quit. Uh, then I thought, well, maybe it was the phone acting up. That's why it was it was cutting out sometimes. I was losing my my mic, you know, during my live streams. And uh, 
Uh, but I, I tried it on the camera, and it was loud and clear. It didn't do any of that strange squelching sound like a CB radio squelching like the onboard mic does. Uh, basically kind of jittery and cutting in and out. But what it did do was uh, it was distorted. It was like it was overdriven. <clears throat> so I think that's that finally made me decide that it's probably not the mic itself, the little hardware mic on the camera that's the problem. It's the software firmware in the camera is uh, buggy, you know, or just not well written or however you want to say it. <coughs> I wouldn't have bought it with those kind of reviews. It didn't have that bad reviews when I got it. Uh, uh, it was uh, at least four stars even, or I wouldn't have even bought it. You see more people have bought it since then and reviewed it. And now it's, and they may have quit selling because it's just got so many negative reviews. Sometimes they will quit selling them. Let's go see. You know what? I think they did that. Sometimes they will quit selling stuff on, on the, you know, they will say discontinued, and then they'll take the exact same product. And it looks like that may be what they did. And they'll put it on another page on Amazon to sell it. And it's the exact same thing. It, it's the same advertisement there only thing that's different is as a mic and the uh, <coughs> sunscreen <coughs> Let's see if it tells you what they call that I don't think that's a different camera <coughs> see there it is without the uh, deal on there Comes with two batteries. Now that was a plus. And the, well, most of the others just came with one battery. The batteries last about twenty minutes, <clears throat> and so two batteries is really a necessity. It only has three stars. I'm not so sure if it comes with that that, that uh, <clears throat> lens shade. <clears throat> I can't remember what. Now here's another kind. They have the bigger ones that some of them have. <clears throat> I'm going to just finish my cough drop. And <coughs> Get another one. I'm completely sidetracked. Okay. Get the cough drop and then get my a little more relief from my throat and try and stop jabbering so much and just talk when I need to. couldn't remember what I was on and I wanted to make sure <clears throat> Don's <clears throat> Yeah, let's put it. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. 
Well, that's really not expected. <clears throat> History. Yard road, yeah. Okay. I actually, I hardly ever use a QR scanner, but when you need it, you really need it. So, um, <clears throat> well, I'm not going to go messy. Now, I'm not even going to think about putting that on my mom's tablet. Glad I uh, figured that out first with the phone. I don't think she has Kira or Droid on her tablet, but that's not what I'm here for today, so. <clears throat> but I will try to remember to put that on her tablet later. I guess I'll put, I got to where I, I used to put a one in front of stuff that I wanted to be up at the top of the, when I organize things alphabetically, <clears throat> but I got to where it was kind of throwing me off, so I kind of quit doing it, but in my, in my Android folder there, I've done that for a long time, so I'll do it. Now, <clears throat> um, I have to rethink here, I can hear that laptop working hard. Sorry about the smacking with my cough drop. I can't go without one, though. <clears throat> um, okay. No app from them. I'm not going to use an app from them. So there's instructions for... Um, let it close this right now. I don't think I'm going to use my browser for a bit. <clears throat> I was looking at my, <clears throat> seeing how big my file was. Okay, so um, I mean, I could, like I was saying, I might be able to find another <clears throat> app for this purpose that might work, but I'm actually not real interested in. <clears throat> doing it that way anyway <clears throat> what I, the whole point that I want to try to do is use it on my uh, I don't want to look at it on a phone it's too small I want to be able to if it'll do if it if it stream will stream its stream could be picked up <clears throat> if it streams in a normal format that VLC can pick up then that means OBS studio can pick and I can stream it, unless it's too low of a quality to be of any good. But these phones are only 2 megapixel, and they're fine. So I figure it's going to be higher than 2 megapixel, or at least 2 megapixel. And um, it would be really nice to be able to carry it around untethered, you know. I did get me a, I think it's a 15-foot USB cable. And it's uh, it works great, and it's a bigger cable than what you usually get, uh, which may, makes the length not <clears throat> not uh, lose data if you, if your cable if your wire is bigger inside the cable. You got to watch out because some of them just have a bigger housing, you know, bigger shielding, not shielding, but <coughs> <coughs> bigger casing. <coughs> But um, <clears throat> trying to think.
Okay, let me get situated here. tough day for trying to do video with all these allergy junk <clears throat> and I have taken I've been taking <laughs> I take an allergy um, pill and a decongestant I, I should <clears throat> usually I take allergy pill and a decongestant together and it works out just fine today I realized after I just now took it again I took the allergy pill and I thought okay now I need to do I need that decongestant I took it in and then I started just running like crazy. I should have not just stuck with the allergy pill. Because <clears throat> I was actually doing better while I was eating <laughs> than I am was before and I am now. <clears throat> but uh but now here's what I wanna wanting to do. I may have to uh oh yeah. <clears throat> this is how I can do this. This thing will just kind of fit like that. And, um, oh, look, that puts the camera in, in the view. I thought I was going to have to go change the <clears> – okay, so if I uh, <clears throat> turn it, open it up, it turns it on. <clears throat> yeah, you have a mic input, you have the uh, USB output, and the H. DMI output in there. It has a lot of features. The only real problem I have with it is uh, <clears throat> the audio. I mean, well, that I, that's really bad about it. But it's not bothering me when I'm <clears throat> as long as I'm using my separate audio like I'm doing right now. <coughs> but if I was recording <coughs> just on the camera. <coughs> If I can't get good sound, I tried my old lapel. If I haven't tried my new dual lapel setup, if I try it and it doesn't work well, then <clears throat> that'll be that'll be bad. It'll only be basically good for you know plugging it, using it with the webcam, basically. <clears throat> Unless, well, now I know since I know I'm not even going to go to their site, I'm not going to be get. I was, I'm thinking, well, what if they put out a firmware update to fix that? You know. Like, well, and there was, I don't think they would do it for these kind of, but there was an open source project. There's more than one, I think, for the some of the older <coughs> uh, Canon cameras, I think it was, to update the firmware and to give you features that were not in the firmware, but the hardware had, you know, and stuff. <coughs> this was t five or ten years ago. <coughs> when the cameras were too old now to be much good, you know. <coughs> I think they were like probably less than two megapixel cameras, you know. <clears throat> but it was a pretty big deal back then. Okay, so where's my little <clears throat> I gotta kind of review the instructions. Okay, now, what? Using the app. Okay, let's see. I may want to go back to that first page or two. 
Star EDV in recording mode. Press the M icon. To enter the menu, select Wi-Fi and enable the Wi-Fi function. Oh, okay. And then you should see the SSID and the Wi-Fi password. There we go. Now, if, if I can see the IP, it starts, you know, putting out. Okay, right now I can see the, uh, oh, okay, touch the menu. Yeah, I see. Oh, Wi-Fi is not on. I can see that. All right. Now, you can actually touch the screen in most places. It's weird. I can see myself in that preview. Um, okay. Well, I can go over here. Maybe that. Oh, that's so bright in that. That's worse than looking at myself. I'll just go back to like it was. <clears throat> Okay, um, yeah, I've got resolution, MP, resolution, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, WB, AWB, color, well, it's color bars and then color, EV exposure. Okay, so if I can, <coughs> I would try to use, I keep wanting to, try to use a remote but uh, sometimes if you you click a button and all of a sudden it uh, there's a bunch of buttons on the inside you can do things the same thing I think you use the uh, yeah it's jumping from the top to bottom though I'm gonna try to touch it it's just small and I can't I got it okay now, how do you make it happen? I think you have to. Well, it's not showing the. Uh, <clears throat> you have to do something. To, it shows that it's on. Let me go back to that first page. I think these instructions are told different in different places. <clears throat> I was wanting to try to show the screen as I did it, but I can't look at it and show it at the same time. <clears throat> now, even if I bring my camera over here, it's it's just too hard to do it all at once. There's that other Wi-Fi section. Let me mark that. <clears throat> well, the way I'm all set up here, I can't really mark it. I have a place to set it down where I can see it and mark it at the same time. So here we go. There it is. Okay. Open the Wi-Fi function menu. Select on and press OK button. The Wi Fi function is enabled after. Wow. After. Oh, then after it's enabled, it shows the. Turns to preview mode and displays the SSID and the password. And then, then you open the app, find the S, select the SSID, and then put in the password. Okay, okay, but <clears throat> I don't see an okay button in there unless it's the one that's an arrow, kind of looks like an inner. Let's try it with the remote. Well, wait, the remote has to be pointing at the... Well, I can do that. 
I think you can use one of these hardware buttons on here, but I don't see an OK button there. I think the OK button is the record button in most cases, but I don't know. It's, it is, that's how you get the USB to work. <clears throat> you plug it in and it says, it pops up, do you want USB or file access? They call it something else. And then you have to toggle on down. You can do the touch screen or you can use the uh, <clears throat> zoom left and right. Up and goes up and down and then you hit the record button and that's how you get it I like to never remembered that to get it to do the USB let's see I think what is the OK button is that we'll find out well it now it says Wi-Fi on Wi-Fi off that's all it's in the screen didn't work Oh, yes, it did. It was just slow. <laughs> okay. SSID. Oh, okay. The password, it is in the manual what the password is on that other page. The fault password is silly. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, Fault passwords one two three four five six seven eight. <clears throat> you know what? You probably can't change that. I guess you can't change that, and the SSID is different in each camera. So uh, if I see, uh, let me look and see <clears throat> if I can find this thing in my router. Then I might be uh, <clears throat> cooking with gas. Let me go ahead and get this thing. I want to put, let's see, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I need to be able to use my keyboard. So. So it still has a picture behind it, you know, the preview. So I kind of put it where it's, I can kind of read the letters. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> now, get the browser open. I think I might have already tried this before. Either that or I, I may. I know I tried it, but now whether or not I figured out how to get it to turn on the Wi Fi, I think I did. <coughs> but, uh, okay. <clears throat> I was checking my <clears throat> sound while I was at it. <clears throat> now. Go to my router. <clears throat> see if it's going. It should show up. <clears throat> Thing is, oh yeah, <clears throat> I think this router can do. <clears throat> you know, there's uh, some of my routers have, uh, you know, discovery of devices, and and you'll see all the SSIDs. And I think this one does somewhere in here. I'm not sure where. There's an add button. No, oh, that's a manually add. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> just got to make sure <clears throat> that there's not, I don't see anything new in here. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's go to wireless and see if I see anything.
this one's really different than any other routers that I've ever had. <clears throat> so it's hard for me to remember. what the statistics are. I don't think it's going to have anything to do with what uh, I thought. <clears throat> Showing you the traffic. <clears throat> should say, I was going to say there should be some traffic on the Wi-Fi, not the 5 gigahertz. I don't see. So, yeah. Oh, I think of the everything I've got. The only thing I have that'll do five gigahertz is that the the Dell laptop, the Dell six thousand, which is older than <clears throat> any other thing that has Wi-Fi. But I don't even have the Wi-Fi drivers on it, so it's only doing wired. <clears throat> but it can do five gigahertz, I, I think. <clears throat> but five gigahertz doesn't. Uh, from in here where the routers are, don't even really make it. It won't even work in the living room. <clears throat> it's not. It, it's faster, but it's not very strong. It doesn't go very far. So I've really never used it. <clears throat> and it wouldn't matter on this laptop anyway because its top speed is 54 megabits. <clears throat> the, the, the hardware on it or the Wi-Fi <clears throat> chip on it. Just go to network. All I saw in the <clears throat> didn't see what I wanted in the wireless section. Doesn't seem to have <clears throat> the uh, discovery. You know, things that are out there. <clears throat> Let me look. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Can't walk. <clears throat> Let's do this for a second. <clears throat> so I can look in areas that I don't want to show. <clears throat> VPN status. I don't know what <clears throat> WPS pin status is. That's something I've never seen, you know, a phrase I've never seen used. <clears throat> they try to make this router, it uh, seems like they're trying, they do that with things so much nowadays, they're trying to make them easier to use for people that don't, know how things work <clears throat> and all they do is make it where nobody can figure it out because it makes no darn sense there's a wizard but i usually never internet wi-fi client that's your first setup. The wizard just for the first setup, I think. <clears throat> okay. Could be that something will show up. <clears throat> okay. WPS pin status. That's what I, I copied and pasted it in there. The flaw allows a remote attacker to recover. 
the WPSP in a few hours with a brute force attack. <clears throat> okay. And with the and with the WPSP and the network's WPA, the two pre-shared keys, users have been urged to turn off <coughs> that feature. Well, it's already off. <coughs> it was probably off by default. And I, I don't usually turn things on unless I, you know, unless I know what the heck they are. <coughs> what I was wondering is if it might be what I need to use to be able to uh, hook this thing up. Oh, I forgot to switch back to the desktop. I thought I was showing you that. That's what I just read off that right there. Yeah, to make connections between router and wireless devices faster and easier. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that may be what I need turned on to get that to hook up. <clears throat> we'll see. I don't want to do something that's... Uh, This is a, yeah, I'm trying to put this in the folder with my. I should have a folder for my D Link router. Looks like I don't. There it is. It's the dash link. <laughs> well, I'm going to put it there <clears throat> because that's the one I'm, it's pertaining to at least right now. Let's see what this one is. That's in 2015. That's 2017. <clears throat> My router, well, my router's probably a couple, I've probably had it a couple of years now, but. Oh, so what it is is WPS. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I just figured that out a long time ago. I used to leave that on to make it easier, you know, and then I, I found out I had a router, a zone net that I used as a wireless repeater. It had that ability from the factory. Put it out in the garage as and turned it on to repeat my wireless signal from in here so that I could have internet out in the garage. I don't have any wiring out there and I noticed my I noticed an unknown Android device on there and I didn't even have any Android device at the time it turned out that my neighbor had his phone set to uh, automatic connect to any available thing and it was connecting to it anytime he was close to it it was connecting to it when he was in his room because when he uh, he was close to the, the garage my garage wall is close to his room you know so it was it was stronger than his router sometimes stronger signal He, uh, well, he grew up, well, I grew up in this house, moved away, got married, raised kids, came back when I got older, um, and uh, my health got bad, that's why I came back, and then my neighbor, he stayed there, you know, he grew up next door, he was a lot younger than me, and uh, anyway, he moved out and got married a few years ago, but still, you know, email or something once in a while, but he's in computers too, 
and audio video stuff. <clears throat> but I didn't actually get to know him until he was about 40. You know, when I was 40 and I was 50 or whatever, I'm 50, 10 or 15 years older. Than because <coughs> he was so little and I moved away when I, I got married when I was 18 and moved away he was still a kid kind of thinking <coughs> that uh, well that wouldn't really work so good but I have uh, have a switch and another older router plugged into this uh, router. I could, let's see, I don't even know what's plugged into it. I might be able to forward a port into that router. I doubt I have it. Imagine I have the firewall turned on to where you can't remotely. That would It would think, you know, if I'm coming, it's the third on the daisy chain, so it would think it's an attack from the Internet if I try to go from this machine to it unless I opened it up and uh, if I could get into it then uh, I could open it up oh I don't even run the yeah it's such a lousy uh, wi wireless it was always terrible on wireless I turned it off years ago I don't have the wireless turned on so I wouldn't even couldn't do that and I don't want to turn it on because then they fight with each other I figured that out I ran two routers right close to each other for years before I finally realized Till I got these phones and I got some Wi Fi <clears throat> monitor, you know, monitoring apps where you can see the signals, and I realized that if I turn only run one router, <clears throat> you get a much stronger signal than if you run two because they're fighting each other, interfering with each other. So, uh, and the old uh, Linksys, which is not, it's about dead now, but uh, I used to, that was the one. It was actually the strongest signal of any router I've ever had. But it was only 54 megabits, and these faster routers that'll do uh, this one will do about 1200 or 1500 wireless one gigabit router. And even fa <clears throat> and then my other one, which is not on right now, my I don't have it hooked up to anything. I planned on making it a repeater and putting it in the garage, but I haven't done it. <clears throat> I can't think of what it is. Um, anyway. It's a gigabit router, but it's about 750, 850 uh, wireless. And and it was the one that got interfered with so bad with the Linksys back when it was still running. Yeah, so they're explaining what's wrong with that system. <clears throat> I'll remember reading about this when it happened now. <clears throat> Pretty good explanation of it, though. A lot less technical than the one I, I was reading uh, years ago. I used to remember a lot of this stuff because I used to stay up with it.
Yeah, okay. So <clears throat> that tells me that even if I can get this... Um, figure out where I want to put this. Well, I don't want it in router firmware software. There's another, that's only about that particular vulnerability. <clears throat> Those are specific networking. Not that's too far off. I'll put it in the D link again, because it at least maybe I'll uh, if I try to try to find this again. I'll maybe I'll remember that uh, I was looking up stuff for the D link. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, UPnP is the one that I had turned on. And it it, it may it let uh, devices connect to it without anything that you you know any kind of password or anything. It was just free and open. And I didn't know that. I didn't think that it was like that. And I had it on for years. But that was back before, hardly, you know, there was only me and him, and just maybe three people around here that had wire, wireless routers, you know. Okay, so. What's this? No, I don't want anything. Okay, so. I'm going to just leave that right there in case I want, well, I don't need too many things open. Okay. Um, I already forgot where I was. I still think there's a place. I thought it had, I thought this router actually did have a uh, <clears throat> way to look. It's not the firewall, is it? No, let's look at the firewall. I don't think so, but uh, I haven't made any rules. <clears throat> I really don't mess with IPv6 either, so. I already forgot. I can't go into the wireless without showing all kinds of things that I don't want to show. So I'll have to. PVC signals. Oh, okay. Let's see. What, I don't even know what. They're using different words for the same old stuff is what they're doing. WPS PBC status. See what that is. They definitely don't have an easy way to just see the wireless uh, stuff in your area. I wonder if I can see it on that phone with one of those apps. I'm trying to think. That's all I need to do is find out the IP address. Well, I need to, let's see, can you even do a, with OBS Studio, I'm not sure you can connect to a stream that, uh, now that I think about it, that has a password. Well, you can, I think, if you, the same way you would with VLC, you have to put it in the URL, 
think there's a way you could do it. Push button configuration. That's what it is. Same thing it's using the let's see. Yeah, but you have to be uh, I think that one's okay because you have to be uh push button. Oh, okay. Well, that's Sony. I don't have Sony. That's a general Wi-Fi.org. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, it's only on when you push the button. You can only be joined, but it says, uh, you push the button, unattended devices could join the network if they are in range. <clears throat> in entry. I think it's actually less secure. I don't think you need a, a PIN number or anything with that. <clears> the <throat> only thing that makes it secure is if everything's, there's nothing close to you, but heck, your neighbor's, uh, like if you look on the phone, Wi-Fi, uh, you, the neighbors sometimes they have really strong signals that show up here in my room. So I don't know if those things could join by accident or not. And then uh, I guess I'd see them when I could. I'd have to figure out how to kick them out then. It would be uh, <clears throat> better to use some kind of pen than no kind of pen. I, I, no matter, you know. I think this is, could potentially be more insecure than the other way. I don't think this would actually work with my camera. I'm not sure. It might pressing that button. I mean, you could do it and just see, but I gotta remember messing around with the router. I was thinking, well, I can just turn it on and see, uh, but you might have to reboot the router to get that to work. And uh, that will break my live stream. So I don't think messing this button would do anything to my live stream. But talking about hooking up the TVs and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so. Mm. Where am I? Okay, I'm on the desktop. Go back to the camera just so that I won't be showing things. Wireless. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the push button is enabled. I think I've actually had to use that once for something. I don't remember what. Now, I unlock the uh, WPS pin status and hit save. It says you're, you're being saved. 
so many seconds. I hope I don't <clears throat> can't stop it now. Uh, if it reboots the router, uh oh, I think it is. Lights blinking. I guess we're fixing to find out. I'm afraid it's going to reboot the router when it gets done counting down. I can't stop it now. I've already done it. <clears throat> oh, settings have been saved. Okay, so it didn't look like I lost my stream or anything. Wait. Now it says locked. Huh. It might have been in the vulnerable setting all this time. This router is hard to understand what it is you're actually doing with it. And it does have a cool feature. It has a guest zone where you have a separate password that you could give out and without having to give out your uh, your you know your Wi-Fi wi password. But uh, I am not sure. <clears throat> I should have done a screenshot. Um, but it says locked now. What it said before was, I don't know if it said, I thought it said unlock, but it may have said unlocked. And it turned gray. It was green. With white letters now, it's gray with white letters, or sort of gray, brownish or something. This router's pain in the butt for managing. <clears throat> I've been one of the reasons I bought this though is you can put DDWRT on it. I put it on my D, uh, my links this year, waited for years to finally do it, but I did and I really liked it. And my other router, TP-Link, that's what it is. It, 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 I don't even have, I've been, I, that's why it's unplugged. It was ready for me to put DDWRT on it so that I can turn it into a wireless repeater. And this one, you know, they haven't sent out any updates or anything. Uh, it's, I'm sure it's too far behind as far as security goes. And um, <clears throat> the DDWRT, you can, I think, I don't think they still do any automatic updates. I would like that. Well, that can be a security risk, though, but anyway, they do put out updates, and it's open source firmware for routers, if you don't know what that is, but uh, very good statistics. I'm going to look in the system log here. Oh, I don't have the logging turned on. Well, I'm not going to do it right now. Let's see. Port forwarding. Let's just look in the port forwarding and see oh okay you don't need any port forwarding or virtual servers I have that set up for my web server because my laptop I was saying a while ago is my web server <coughs> but uh, Yeah, this is only connected clients in the clients thing, so.
And there's so many things I'm realizing here, so many things that it doesn't show it all unless you click on the advanced settings. And the way the text is, it's so light, you know, so old, I guess you'd say opaque or whatever. I don't always see it. I can go into the same place over and over and not see that there's actually more in there. Oh. <clears throat> I've tried to pick up multicast streams with VLC and couldn't. And I thought, well, I used to could do that. Well, they're turned off in here. Or I've tried to s just turn one on just to test it out because I used to mess with that some. But they're turned off in here. I'm not going to turn them on now because I want to make sure I, I know what kind of risk I might be getting into. VPNP. Isn't that what? Now I can't remember. UPNP is, let's see what that is. Universal plug and play. Yeah. That's the one that, uh, that I haven't had any trouble. It does have more security features now, but, uh, okay. UPNP. I can <clears throat> show you this. Okay. Um, so I looked up UPNP, and this is where I went first. But still, I did not. Th I, th I didn't even think they had UPNP in the newer routers. But it's in this one. Well, this is not even an explanation. It's just BS. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. It definitely make makes things easier, uh, or it used to. I always use my uh, pre-shared key. Now I set everything up, and if it's not, you know, doesn't have the key put in it, then it doesn't connect. That's what I thought anyway. And I forward my ports manually. That doesn't sound good at all. <clears throat>
Yeah, it says in 2001, they told everybody to turn off UP, UPnP, and then they figured out it was Windows XP, not UPnP. Yeah, more attacks coming here and there. <clears throat> I'm skimming now because I want to hurry up. There's the OD link. That's that's what I, I mean. Links is. I never don't believe I ever, well, at least not as far back as I can remember. I never turned on UPnP and the links is the one that I had the zone net that I had years before I got this. I got this used. My sister had bought it new, and then she got a newer one, and then she gave me that one. And I didn't. Well, I knew when she gave it to me. I had found out that these were real popular for putting, uh, you know, DDR, WRT and stuff on them. And so I was really happy to get it then. I didn't know that before then. Oh, there's something. I wonder if that would break Skype from working if I turn it off. Because I do use Skype, voice over IP. That's what Skype uses. I think it uses VOIP. There are other protocols that I'm not sure what, for sure what protocol it is. No, oh, there, there's another one. Open WRT, that's another popular open source firmware. Well, they have Open WRT has enabled it, but in secure mode. And said how much data can go over it. That's pretty cool. You know, I don't want no you jumping up there when I'm trying to do stuff. Okay, so that well, I really did have no idea that uh, this router even had that. Let me go back to the camera. Now I got to find that spot again. Oh. I thought I, I would go a direct route to that, uh, but turns out I don't see it go the way I went the first time. Okay. Anything else? Oh, van- advanced. That's why I never I never noticed it. It's in that advanced. Uh,
Okay. I'm not sure. I, I'm almost certain I wouldn't have turned that on. It's on, and I'm I'm turning it off. I am almost certain I wouldn't. I hope it doesn't break my stream, but I'm going to do it. Um, I didn't. I couldn't show that because it has you know personal information in there. Yes, it rebooted the router. Great. Oh, yes, I forgot that I'm still recording a video. It, my stream, the router rebooted this time, and my stream went offline. I don't think it's going to come back. And my darn mouse quit working. I was trying to, uh, oh, I've got it backwards. There we go. How crazy. I was trying to reload the preview page up there on the laptop, and, uh, I couldn't get the I couldn't get the mouse and I could kind of see it moving around, but I couldn't get it where I wanted it. Yeah, I lost my stream. Um, but what I can do? I usually don't do it this way, but I'm going to just keep on recording, but stop. So I have to hit stop stream. And then I can hit start stream again. I don't know. It might have been trying to come back up. I don't think it goes that long, though. I'm not sure how long you can. It seems like it's having trouble uh, still trying to stop the stream. That's what I hate about messing around with the router while I'm streaming. But uh, it was, I'm not going to get any, I wasn't going to get anywhere if I don't do it, so. Still saying stopping stream. I'm afraid I may not get away with this the way I thought. Well, it might have been in the middle of trying to restart the stream, but. I hope OBS doesn't get whacked out. Um, well, that door, I, I didn't thought about it, but the camera's still sitting there uh, showing that SSID and waiting to get connected to. Um, let's go back over here to the router again, I guess. No, that won't help any. I'm going to go in there and look, but I don't want to show it on the video. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's what got me. Well, so it's disabled now. UPnP, I've, I've known that. I've kept that disabled for years and years, 15 plus years now, more than 15 years, I thought. <clears throat> but I guess what happened is I just didn't didn't see it. You know, I didn't know it was there. They, they were saying in these articles, people just don't bother. Well, sometimes you bother yourself to death and you still can't find it because of the ridiculous way they do farm where there's absolutely no reason to have that to where you can't see it. They, uh, you know, you have to click on a link to see it. You, you can just say advanced settings. Don't do this unless you know what you're doing, like most everybody else does, you know, instead of being hidden in sub-menus. So, 
What I haven't found, though, is a simple thing that I really want. Now, I'm really pissed now because OBS Studio is still saying it's stopping stream. So I can't start the stream back up. I guess I'll have to stop the recording um, in order to get a stream going again. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to have to upload this uh, backup video anyway. So I might as well forget about the stream. <clears throat> but, uh, I thought, let me see if I can, I don't know if I can show that or not. It may not show at all. Let's see if I can show it on the uh, Endoscope. Now that's the, uh, can't really read it, but that's what that screen looks like. Um, that's something I didn't think about. Um, wonder if I can uh, there's a couple of things I can try to do oh, I'm still on that website okay um, I'm actually getting to where I'm going to need a break again Make sure my video is recording still. 3.3 gigabytes. Yeah, I think I'll close this. Close Firefox. Make, make sure the machine's not getting a little overwhelmed. But, um... What is it I want? Oh, yeah, I want to... I was thinking about using the phone to look for something to connect to. I just realized. There's one really cool app that helped me a lot on that's on this phone, just on a sidetrack. It's called Ampere, Amper, A-M-P-E-R-E. And it will show you your voltage and your amps that uh, when you have it plugged in to the USB cable, you know, to charge it, it'll show you what's being drawn. Because, uh, you know, I bought some 10-foot uh, cables so that I could uh, move these cam these things around when I was using them as a camera, but keep them plugged in because they'll only run about 20 minutes on the battery, you know, and then the battery runs down. And uh, But it kept saying, oh, this cable is not the, the stock, you know, the factory cable, and you're gonna, you may have trouble, and it won't charge right and all that. And I thought, well, it could be right. And so I, I found these, I looked through a bunch of apps and I found that one and it told me exactly what I needed to know so you can let it sit there and tell you in real time, you know, what, uh, how many uh, volts you're getting from the cable and how much uh, it keeps going to sleep. I must have. Um, must have let it, it must have got off of the settings I had. So anyway, I figured out that they were doing quite well uh, and charging really well. So you, there's not there wasn't anything wrong with them because for a while I thought, oh no, I bought some cables that are got small wire and they're not doing a good job. Auto rotate screen, sleep after one minute. It's going to sleep way sooner than one minute, but I'm going to put it on two minutes. It's usually what I leave it on, but I thought, well, if I'm but I also, I usually do that knowing that I can plug it in at any time, but I don't really have the cables out to plug it in. I'm, I've got, well, yes, I do. But uh, I was thinking, I, I had the thought of, well, I, I was using two USB cables plugged into the computer, 
But the charging cables, I just keep them plugged. If I'm just wanting to charge it, I just keep them plugged in the charger. There's one right there, the one that's, well, not this phone, but the other phone that I usually use for wireless mic. So anyway, <clears throat> let me get another drink. I've got absolutely nowhere in the, as far as, well, I've made no progress. I guess I have. I've been learning refreshing a lot of things and learning I don't think I've learned anything new yet I've been refreshing what I should have already remembered what I'd like to have been able to already remember doesn't look like I have What was it I was looking for? Oh, yeah, Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi app. This one is, I think, one of the ones that really gave trouble about filling up. So I just, you know, wanted to use it for video, and I couldn't. So I just end up un uninstalling a lot of stuff. Somehow that... Uh, Amper app was still on there. I, I remember taking it off of other phones <clears throat> because it's because it's not a real big app, but it wasn't something I needed all the time, so I took it off. What is this? That I can see that I've taken a lot of things off of here. I don't have the Wi-Fi app on here. Doesn't look like. I'm really searching hard. I'm looking in all the little boxes, you know, that have things grouped together. And, uh, yeah, I didn't think there should be anything in them that... I, I don't like using those, so I, I try to make sure everything is out in the main desktop, you know, you just got to flip through to find stuff. But I did at some point organize a lot of this stuff, you know, manually organize a bunch of it. Well, I kind of did it along the way. At first I thought that was helpful, but it turned out that I never even think to look in those things. Yeah, that Wi-Fi app's not on there. So, uh, I am really getting tired now, probably because it's time is it? Oh, it's almost noon. Yeah, that's why I'm tired. I'm starting to need a break again, too. I, this machine must be getting tired because the uh, I never really noticed this. You know, it's turning yellow, red, yellow, red. Oh, the kilobytes are zero. Oh, okay. It's doing that because I tried to, you know, the stream got lost, got dropped, and then I was trying to, uh, I think it's, it's kind of stuck and not... Uh, I think it's still recording okay, though. If it's not, I'm really going to be 3.5 gigabytes. I don't know. Surely it's not. Uh, it, still, it still shows to be recording. If stopping the stream does not stop the recording. I just got to, I can't seem to remember. I'm going to me a screenshot this time. And and then I look at it again. If it hasn't changed, then I'll know that I'm not actually not recording. And I've been talking to myself. Okay, so but I do want to look. Since I was already here, I thought, well, I'm going to do as much as I can. Uh, where is the desktop? I'm on the desktop. I didn't realize that. I thought I was on the camera. Dang it! I'm getting too tired. I guess I'm going to have to quit pretty soon here. Um. 
I didn't want to spend a bunch of time searching the Google Apps, but uh, that might have been the best way, just to find an alternate app. You know what? I just realized something. Those apps that are on that 10 inch tablet might. Uh, where does I want to go? I want to go to. Uh, go to play, Google Play. <laughs> Those apps that are on that 10 inch tablet that I use to connect to the IP webcam, they may be able to connect to this. Uh, they may be able to see my camera and connect to it. I don't think I've ever tried that. Getting to where I need a break so bad. I think I'm going to have to go do that. Forget. I see, yeah, okay, like tiny webcam. That's on there. I saw that. That might work. I was, I was trying to get to a Wi-Fi app to see this. I thought maybe there was something in here I could see to... Uh, I guess you might be able to go into the settings. I can't remember now. No, you got to have an app. Well, I have to have a break now, so I'm just going to stop this whole recording and everything. Close OBS and open it back up after my break. All right. Bye-bye.